Hi everybody, this is Bo Sanchez here in Success Live. We have a very, very, very special episode today because I want to I wanna, I wanna share to you Gina Makahilos. She is with us. Hi Gina. Hi Kuya. <laughs> Gina is the brand ambassador of Truly Rich Club. Uh, she, it is her story that launched the club 10 years ago. You know, Truly Rich Club is helping thousands of people learn how to invest in the stock market. Why? Because 10 years ago, I decided I was going to help Gina and my, my house assistants, my helpers. Um, I really don't like calling them maids, but uh, I do it for communication purposes, <laughs> basically, because that's what people know. So I'm, I, I put that in my title, my maid invests in the stock market. Here, this one. This is uh, the book that launched the Truly Rich Club and my maid invests in the stock market and why you should too. And uh, the, you know, um, my wife and I, we, we decided we're going to help them. I mean, we want to help them. We don't want them to remain uh, where they were financially, economically. We wanted to raise up their finances and not only our house assistants, but we wanted to help our driver also. And we prayed every week. You remember that, Gina? Um, we, we would pray every week. We would uh, share about our stories. Um, we, we would do that. And then at the end of our prayer meeting at home, I would, I would ask you, Kumusta yung pera? How's your finances? And uh, what would you say usually? Wala pong pera. Wala pera. It was very frustrating because I, I thought I was a good employer. And I would raise your salaries. I would try to, you know, give a little bit bigger than what other people. At that time, 10 years ago, I was already, I was trying to give, what, 7,000, 8,000 pesos um, a, a month. Um, a little higher than other people. Maybe not as high as Sharon Coneta. Uh, <laughs> you know, someone told me she was giving at that time, you know, 50,000 pesos. So, hindi naman ganun kalaki. Pero enough. And uh, by the way, hi Sharon. Uh, Sh Sharon is, uh, I, I met her in a wedding, uh, in the wedding of I, I and, and she told me, no, no, it was, uh, I, I think before that, and she said that she, she's a member of the Truly Rich Club uh, because she also wanted to, to help her staff. So anyway, back to the story. Um, we started the Truly Rich Club helping our helpers and our driver. And uh, I told myself, if I can teach them how to invest in the stock market, I'll be able to teach anyone. And that's what happened. The Truly Rich Club is helping thousands of people invest in the stock market. Our staff in my personal business, as well as in my ministries, about almost 200 of them, from ma managers to messengers to editors, photographers to janitors, all of them are investing in the stock market and we're very, very happy for that, you know. And all of them will become multi-millionaires. I, I really believe that. They will retire as multi-millionaires. And that's our message to you. If you are interested to tell friends about the story of Gina, I'm going to be interviewing her in a while. Uh, please tell them. Tag them. Tell them, uh, you know, watch now Success Live uh, here because it's a special episode. We are going to talk to, to Gina. And uh, once upon a time, Gina was uh, many times actually, ABS-CBN, GMA, you know, they would interview Gina. And I'm not going but sila lang. So we're going to, you know, they always feature the story of Gina. Uh, they would call her up and she's very shy. She, Gina doesn't want to tell, be in front of the camera, but, uh, you know, they, they ask her and uh, she also wants to inspire other people. So we're, we're going to talk to her right now. If you have any questions, feel free to, to write down in the comment section and we will try our very best to answer them. All right. Yay. Gina, you were with us. Uh, how old were you when you started? 18. 18 years old. Opa. Wow. And you are now? 34. <laughs> 34. So at 18 years old, I still remember uh, Maru and I were interviewing you. Naalala mo ba yan? Opo. And uh, it, it was, uh, we, we, we asked you, you know, you were 18, at the back of my mind, you know, seryoso ka ba? Mahirap to, you'll be away from your family. You come from where? 
Dumaguete City po. Dumaguete. And you you live in a not in Dumaguete City actually. Um uh, one hour by one bus hour. mga 30 minutes from Dumaguete City papunta pa amin. Yeah. Yes, yes. And you were telling me that uh, you had a goal, you had a dream na sana to help your family. Opo. Can you describe that, that family and uh, why you wanted to lift them up? Kasi po, anong hirap po ng buhay, tapos ma mama ko po walang trabaho, di ba po, ay kuya, kung malala nyo po, inang hirap ako sa inyong pera para makalipat po kami ng may ma ma down payment ako sa bahay na, you know, mm, may down, ma down payment kami sa lupang titirahan po namin ngayon. So kasi pinalis kami sa dating ano, so yung para ano ko, but after high school, kahit po mayroong scholarship na pwedeng libre aral po, hindi po ako, hindi ko inavail po yun kasi sa yung pang-allowance, tapos yung monthly na pagkain po na mama, wala po ganun. So, nagsay po akong mag, 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 magtrabaho ng maid sa Corinthian after ng graduation ng high school. Tapos, one, after one year, akala ko po paparalin po ako ng mga kapatid ko. Siyempre, wala lang pong pera. So, yun po yung time na napunta po ako sa inyo po. So, youngest ka? Opo. Yung mga ilan na magkakapatid? Anim po. Six siblings. And uh, you being the youngest, at that time, nakatapos ba sila sa pag-aaral? Um, Dalawa lang po ay magkasunod na tapos po ng high school oh, po. Yung, yung the rest po, graduate ng elementary tapos yung high school level lang po. Gano'n kahirap yung buhay nun? Ay, sobrang hirap po kuya. Lalo na po yung ano, na pinalis kami sa tinirhan namin. Yung sobrang hirap na imbis na may lupa po kayong mapagkuna ng mga kakad, ay yung mga sa, uh, saging, kamuting kahoy. Wala po yung kasi nabinta ng papa ko para... Kasi pinalis po kami sa dati ng tinirhan. Oh, oh. So, so, sobrang hirap po. At least, no? Because uh, my imagination for people in the province, in the barrios, at least meron silang tanim. Ah, okay. So, maski magutom ka, at least merong gulay, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, healthy pa yun. Okay. Pero, imagination ka lang yun. You're telling me now, uh, there was one point in the history of your family na pinaalis kayo sa lupa, mm -hmm. You had to go to ano, parang ano ba yan? Parang government property. Opo, sa tabi po ng kasada. Yung sobrang ilang me oh. sa 2 meters away from the yung gilid ng highway po. Doon kami pag dumaan po yung series, parang gumimba ay pinu po. <laughs> and and walang 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 gulay na. Wala na. Wala na po. Kasi kahit mula po kami bigas sa probinsya po, yan basta may kamuting kahoy, kamuting. Pwede na eh, no? Ano, sab saba. Boy na boy kahit in one week. Yeah. Kaya po namin kahit walang bigas po, ganun. So so so, nagugutom yung pamilya pag ganun? Sobra po, Kuya. Wala kaming ano, imbis na kung kukakain kami sa bar, bibili pa po sa ano bayan. Wala pong pera. Kasi uh -oh. walang, walang trabaho po yung kapatid ko, tas yung papa ko po. Ayan. So, ilang beses kayo kumakain sa isang araw? Kasi, yung, kasi nangyari po yun, mid-school year po ng first year high school po ako, Kuya. Sobrang hirap po, as in, sobra. Siguro yung full meal, siguro dalawa na lang ganun na ano. Kasi wala pong pang backup na mga kung sa Bisaya yung mga salagoon kuya wala pong pang backup na ano. wow wow you know poverty is something if you have never experienced it uh, right now in in urban places you know that, that's what i'm familiar with and maybe for many of you who are listening to me now the the our poverty is would be you know their bills to pay and and kulang yung pera you know but there's a there's a there's a poverty a level of poverty where where there is no food and that's crazy na i can only imagine Gina every day you're you're hungry and Opo. then po tas minsan po yung ano pag kasi dati yung NFA mura mo sobrang mura po tas pag ipo ng papa ko kasi nasu ng ano po siya ng mga high ally. So, may, may commission yun. <laughs> yun totoo po yun. Tapos, may patum, magpapatinda po sa kanya ng tuba. So, may, may percent po siya doon. Iniipon po ng papa ko. Pag duman yung labandera, labandera, Gloria yun, mag-abang na po yung papa ko. Pero pag wala naman, ah, wala talaga. Ah, yun, ano. NFA yun, ano? Oh, we, have, we have cheap rice. Mm. Kasi oh. wala na po kaming taniman ng mais din po. Oh, kaya kasi oh. nabinta na po yung counting yeah. portion ng lupa. Mm. Yeah. That's crazy. So, so in, when, you, when you were going through that poverty, um, then you graduated from high school. Opo. That's the time you decided, I Kasi need to work. Pa parang parang may college kuya na ano, nakwento ko na pensa yung dati na gustong, 
Kasi pag graduate ko ng high school, may scholarship. Gusto yeah. kong, i- yung parang 50-50 po kuya, sabi ng mama ko pwede mag-aaral, pwede niya pong pagsikapan, pero alam ko yung madadaming utang, daming lending na 5-6, madami pong utang, mas maniningil na po sa bahay na pupunta lang yung maniningil, ganun. Tapos sabi ng papa ko, walang pera. So yun, nag po akong mga tulong. Siguro, sabi ko, dasal ko po na kung may boss ako na willing na paralan ako ng high school, ay ng college, i-avail ko po yun kahit ano, na, yung sa gabi po akong mag So, napuntahan kong amo dati, siyempre Chinese, na so, mayaman sa Korean China, hindi man mag ng ganun. Yep. Yep. So, umuwi po ako kasi yun po yung sabi ng paralin po ako, so hindi natuloy. And then, uh, I remember that first interview, you already told us. Opo, nalala ko po yan. Sinabi mo na na first day pa lang na nagkita tayo, sinabi mong gusto mo na mag aral But it was beautiful because um, Maru and I saw saw the saw that saw your willingness to work hard, and you wanted uh, and we like that, you know. When we so nag nagtingin na lang kami ni Maru, and of course she told you, my wife told you na we're willing to pay for the college. Yeah. And, and then you 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 did it every day you would you would study it was amazing because you worked so hard cleaning and and uh, doing all sorts of things uh, um, we we were shocked by how hard you worked during the day and then nine o'clock ng gabi makikita na lang namin na you're you're studying in your room uh, for college um, I, I wanted to tell people that there's a correspondence school that we, we enrolled um, Gina in, so she didn't even have to go to a classroom every day. She just had to submit certain reports. And in four years, <laughs> almost five years, po kuya. Because the ano po kuya nun, kasi depende po sa units na ako kunin ko po is since gabi lang po yung aral magaral pa ako kuya. So pa konti konti hanggang natapos na po. So, gusto ko pong sabihin sa mga tao, habang pinaparap ko na kuya, may sweldo po ako monthly para pang padala sa po. Yep. And uh, we were very happy on your graduation day. Yeah. Um, kami, kami ni, ni Maru yung katabi mo, nas naka white toga. It's beautiful. Blue toga, kuya. Blue ba? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Iba pala yun. <laughs> Uh, and uh, it was beautiful. It was so beautiful. I think, uh, I think, siyempre, uh, iyakin rin si, si Maru. So, umiyak siya nung araw na yun. Sa, kayong dalawa. <laughs> but, uh, we were very proud of you. And then, right after, nung pauwi tayo, sinabi ko na mag, ma, ipropromote kita bilang bookkeeper. So, hin, hindi ka na assistant sa bahay your your although you said sinabi mo hindi gusto ko pa rin maglingkod sa bahay Opo. so you didn't want to go to the office uh, mal- na malayo you still wanted to work at home Opo. <laughs> sorry and uh, i think we started teaching you how to invest in the stock market uh, yun nga yung my frustration ako eh. I, I said Bakit ganun? Ang taas na ng... Hindi naman masyadong mataas yung sweldo ko. You know? I, it, it was okay, pero... Pero the... It was, it was very frustrating for me na... Pa, laging wala, laging wala. Tapos na, na-realize ko kung bakit. Kasi buwan-buwan, you would send your money to, the, to your family. Actually, almost the whole salary goes to the family back home in the province. Lahat kayo. And, uh, but you will, you saved eh. May, may savings kayo buwan-buwan. Kaya lang, laging may emergencies na, na dumarating. Ay, opo, kuya. Tapos ang hirap po lagi sa inyo. Kasi kung ev- laging kulang. Ev- every, siguro three months, every four months, may nagkakasakit. So, yung sinesave niyo buwan-buwan, napupunta rin dun sa emergency. So, I, that was when I decided we need to do something or else forever you'll be like that. You know, mm-hmm. 60 years old na kayo, ganun pa rin. Walang pera kasi... Lahat na pupunta sa, sa family. And this, your story is not, this is not different from many, many people's story. Even, even if they're not your work, 
um, they, they could be secretaries, they could be teachers, they, they could be managers. And at the end of the day, 60, 65 years old, wala pa rin pera kasi ginastos lahat. Mm. And what we did was, I taught you how to have an emergency fund. Kasi emergencies come always. Every so often, somebody gets sick and so on. And you would need to send a special amount of money, not the regular amount of money back home. So why not establish an emergency fund? Why not have, and then this is, this is the, the magic, you know? Why not have um, a certain amount every, every month, you know, set aside, and then we'll put it in the stock market. And th that, was what, that was the game changer. Because uh, today, uh, I'd like, we'd like to tell everybody that Gina has now 1.5 million in the stock market. As a, you know, every month, every three months, I don't know how, how often you put money in the stock market, but it was, it was a discipline. Mm -hmm. And then through the guidance of the Truly Rich Club, uh, the, what, stock, what stocks to buy, what stocks to sell, when to, when to buy, when to sell, that, that guidance was given to you. And there, um, you know, not, not all of our guidance uh, is perfect. Um, there were some stocks that we recommended that went down um, instead of going up. But, uh, you know, I, I remember we, we recommended to everybody buy, buy, but there were, there were two or three stocks that we recommended that didn't go up. But generally, the guidance was good. Uh, I'd, I'd say 90, 90, 95, 97% was, was great recommendations. And so this, the, the stocks went up and there. See Weng, uh, I wish uh, we, we, recommend, we, we invited her, an, another uh, of our assistants at home, uh, who is still there. She, she, she has remained very faithful to us. Uh, she has 1 million pesos or more in the stock market. And uh, that's something we celebrated at home. And I really want all my, my staff to become millionaires. And, uh, you know, Gina, at the age of 34, having 1.5, she will continue to invest in the stock market. Uh, she's, she's been, we believe, I believe that when you, when you finally retire, uh, and uh, let's say go back home to the province, you, you, will have, you will have between 30 to 45 million pesos in the stock market um, as long as you keep on investing. And uh, it's it, for that, for me, and, and people get shocked. Brother Bo, totoo ba yan? Magiging 30 million yung, yung pera namin? Um, yeah, if you, if you are in the line of 30s right now, and, and you keep on investing, it's really time. Hindi, hindi gano kalaki yung ilalagay mo. Siyempre nakakatulong yun, na disiplina, you know. When you started, naalala ko yun, uh, when you started investing in the stock market, magkano linalagay mo ba bawat buwan? Dati hindi po, ano ko, hindi po monthly. Mga three months. Every three months. Mga... Wala pong matching po dati, pero ngayon, parang oh, monthly oh. na po sa'yo yung matching nyo. Oh, Oo. Oh. Pero, yung, pero yung nagsimula tayo, magkano yun? Eh, 15,000 po yung open account ko po. 15,000, oo. Oh, oh. Pero right now, alam nyo, sa COL Financial, our, our recommended online broker, 5,000 lang pwede na magsimula uh, in your investing in the stock market. And then every three months or so, magkano ang linalagay mo? Mga 5,000 siguro? Oh, ganun po. Oo. Oh, oh. So, so mga ganun, 1,000, 2,000 pesos a month ang, ang linalagay ni Gina. But then as the years went by, I remember through my encouragement, <laughs> I tell them, oh, yung, yung Christmas bonus, mm -hmm. uh, baka pwedeng, uh, pwedeng ilagay sa stock markets. Sometimes lahat linalagay nila. And sometimes a part of it, mm -hmm. they put it. And uh, so, and then as because you became a bookkeeper, of course, your salary went, went up, you started putting more into the stock market. So as the years went by, she started putting more in the stock market because she saw the results, you know. And uh, one, one of the stories I like sharing is uh, si Chris, yung driver natin, na ayaw niya muna eh, kasi Parang sayang yung nalalagay po doon, Kuya, oh. kasi siyempre may apat na anak. Oh, oh. Pero hindi siya naisip yun na 
may na, na- si save siya monthly. <laughs> and and uh, sinabi niya parang hindi niya pa daw kaya. So I, I don't force, you know. But uh, our s- sila, our house assistants, they started they started investing. And uh, nung naging I think I don't know what, siguro mag- nung naging 200,000 na kasi nagsi-sharing tayo noon. O oh, magkano na yung pera sa stock market pag sinabi mong may true 200,000 na kuya, syempre na inggit si Chris. <laughs> Tapos sinabi niya, pa- paano ba yung mag-invest sa stock market? So it was it was so so funny. So finally after two years yata or uh, he started investing. So now si Chris meron na ring 500,000 in the stock market. And uh, I I know that that will continue also to grow. So it's it's wonderful just to see them uh, grow in their financial life, but uh, because of their story, because of Gina's story here, my made invest in the stock market. A lot of people were inspired. A lot of people joined the Truly Rich Club, got the guidance, and uh, they started investing. You know, our commitment. This, this is this is something that people don't know. Uh, there is a fee, a monthly fee, to join the Truly Rich Club. A tiny, tiny fee. And we never raised our prices for, for 10 years already. We, we never, our prices from 10 years ago until today is the same. Because of, we, we've made that decision because we really just want to help people grow in their financial life. And we started, a, I, I launched this new book, How My Maid Became a Millionaire. So it, it's, it shares a little, uh, this is a sequel to this. This one is sold in the bookstores. And uh, you, you can buy this in, in the bookstores. You can, but this one, you cannot buy it from the bookstores because we're giving this away for free uh, in a special website. It's, uh, we'll, we'll flash it on the screen now. And uh, you, you, can, you, can, you can order the book for free. Just pay for the small shipping cost. And it tells you the story of Gina. It also tells you how you can do it how you can also become a millionaire. And uh, we, one of the goals, one of my goals is really to help as many Filipinos as I can to, to learn how to grow and invest. And uh, Gina, you, you marami nagbe-message sa iyo and uh, sa Facebook kasi nags, nagsasabing turuan mo ako, paano ba? Anong, anong sinasabi mo sa kanila? Ay, sabi ko po, kaya copy-paste na. Sa dami po nila, kuya. Araw-araw siya may trabaho pa po. Copy-paste, copy-paste. Ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Tapos yung iba po nang sa, ano, willing po siya mag-invest. Gawin po akong coach or mentor. Parang ganun. Hindi ko naman po kaya yun. Nag, nag, nag-asa lang po ako sa inyo, kuya. Tapos sabi ko, may seminar, blah, blah, blah. Ganyan, ganyan. Uh-oh. Parang may trabaho ako. Ganyan, ganyan. Pero yung happy na ako kasi yung iba, kuya, yung sinasabihan ko po, Eh, nag, nag, nag-buy na po sa ano, for yeah. stock market seminar on April 14, nag-buy Yay. po sila. Tapos willing sa mag-attend po, gano'n. Yeah. Kaya yung mga tanong nyo po, yung mga concerns nyo po, itanong nyo na lang po doon kasi libre yung po magtanong doon. Yung, kaya yung may bayad lang po, yung ganyan. Uh-oh. We, we, we charge uh, a fee in the, in the seminar on April 14. And one of the things I've realized sa, sa buhay, generally, you know, you need to put skin in the game. You need to, you need to, Put a little money para seriosohin, to put value in whatever you're receiving. Um, that's what I've noticed. Yung mga may, may commitment, may, may konting aray, no? kasi magbabayad kayo. Um, there's more value, you put more value, and then you put more commitment, and then you succeed. Uh, that's what we've noticed. And so there, we're, we're excited to help more people. Um, I, I noticed that uh, you also hear people, siguro sa Facebook, yung mga nagbe-message sa inyo, gusto nila ikaw ang mag-invest para sa kanila. Parang, kasi yung ano po kuya, yung sa ibang bansa, yung mga OFW po kuya, yeah. kasi wala silang chance na makadin ng seminar. Yeah. Kasi malaman ko ng OFW sila pag nag-reply po sila, ganun po. Tapos gusto nilang mag-open ng account under yeah. my name muna sila mag-finance. So ibig sabihin ako din po maganon kuya. Isa e, dami na ginagawa ko hindi ko naman ano. Sabi ko mag-ano na silang relative po nila, mag-attend yeah. sa seminar. Yeah. Tapos yung may mga videos, panoorin muna nila bago sila magano para ma Kasi In may... other words, in other words, people don't want to study, people don't want to work. Pe- pe- people don't want it want it easy. Gusto nila 
pwede bang ano bigay ko na lang yung pera sa iyo ikaw mag-invest it doesn't work that way uh, that's why there are a lot of scams uh, maraming scam eh kasi ayaw nila magtrabaho na ayaw na lang aralin gusto nila oh ito na lang yung pera ikaw na mag-invest kaya naloloko ang ang maraming Pilipino uh, that you cannot do that you should never do that we're going to teach you the right way where you open an account uh, in COL Financial we will teach you how to do that. It's difficult. Madali ba kumita ng pera? Hindi. You know? Yes, you have to go through the tedious process. It's tedious. Um, mara- ma- mabusisi. Maraming papel. Pero, if you really want to be a millionaire, do it. Make a decision. Go through the difficulty. And then one day, it will happen. Uh, you'll, you'll be able to open that account. It will be under your name. When you put money there, it will always be under your name. And so, and then we will ask you to buy stocks that are the biggest companies in the Philippines. Yun, yun lang. There are 250 plus companies in the Philippines. We will only let you invest in the top 20. We will tell you which companies to invest. Twice a month, we will email you. Uh, in the Truly Rich Club. If you join the Truly Rich Club twice a month, we will tell you what stocks to buy, what stocks to sell. And it's, it's why is it, I believe, the safest way to invest your money? Because you are owning, part owner of these gigantic companies. You know, pag, pagpasok, pagpasok mo sa SM or sa whatever, you know, you're... Uh, sa isang Ayala Mall, you're, you're part owner of that. If we tell you to, to buy those, those companies, because we, we change, you know, diff- different months, we, we say, okay, you sell this stock and then you buy that stock. And so there's, uh, there's a lot of safety, there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, wisdom in making this happen. So I, I'm very excited for you. I want you to start your investments. If you're if you've not yet invested in the stock market, I ask you to do so and make that decision. And we're here for you. We we will help you. Uh, do the the, the 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 website is on the screen. And come and join the Truly Rich Club and change your financial life. We've got a few a few comments. Uh, I'm sorry, questions uh, from Chin Chin. Paano nyo po? tinatanggihan yung mga kamag-anak kamag-anak na banko ang tingin sa inyo is is that uh, your experience Gina na na ganun yung mga, mga humihingi ng tulong ah uh, kalimita po ganun po kuya pero na, natutunan ko po ko yung sabi niyo po kung manghingi ng piso bigyan mo ng 50 centavos or 25 cents kasi parang kung anong hiningi nila kuya wag niyo ibigay yung buo Pero mayroon kasing iba ko ya pa uh, ulit ulit pero uh. <laughs> pero pero mapanood ko ya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ang ang ito yung sinasabi ko sa mga Filipinos love their families. And that's a good thing. Filipinos want to help their families. You have been helping your siblings. You have been helping your mom. You have been helping your nephews, your nieces. You have been helping uh, cousins, and daming tinutulungan ni Gina. Si Weng, our other helper, helps so many people. Si, si Chona, our other helper, helps so many people. Si, si Chris, uh, yung driver namin, lahat ng mga kapatid niya, tinutulungan niya. It's amazing. I'm, I'm really, saludo ako sa Pinoy, saludo ako sa kanila. But I always tell them, uh, as you help them, put a limit, put a ceiling. No? na hindi pwedeng bigay lang ng bigay, kailangan tulungan mo ang sarili mo para in the future, you will still be helping them. Kasi pag hindi ka nagsisave at nag invest no bigay lang ka lang ng bigay, there'll, there'll come a time when you grow old, wala ka ng trabaho, o ikaw naman ang hihingi. <laughs> ikaw na naman ang hihingi. No? So, tin- tumulong ka, pero at the end of the day, you don't have any so why not, habang tumutulong ka, I'm not saying don't help eh. Tulong ka rin, pero may limit para ang, ang unahin mo mag-invest ka for your future. So a time will come when Gina is a multi-millionaire and she will be, as I said, by the time she's 60, she'll have 30 to 40, 
45 million pesos. Um, my, you know, if you have 30 million pesos by, by the time you retire, pwede ka pa rin tumulong. No? Yeah. Uh, and uh, and it's, it's a, it's a, that's what we want to happen. So put a limit, put a budget na for this month, ito lang ang, pwed, ang amount of money na pwedeng, pwede kong ibigay. No? So buwan-buwan, make a decision to do that. Pag, pag sumingi pa sila, na over the budget, you can tell them next month kayo humingi kasi uh, ubus na yung budget ko for this month sa pagtulong. Nathan, bakit ka pa nagtatrabaho kay Brother Bo? E milyonaryo na po kayo. Nathan, okay. Um, siguro po kuya, bago na matinta at papa ko, um, siguro months before, Sabi niya, kahit anong mangyari, kung hindi niyo po ako pinapaalis, hindi ako alis sa inyo. Kasi, eh, ano naman? <laughs> Kasi, yung parang, kayo po yung nagbibigay ng ano sa akin, kuya, sa pamilya ko. Hindi lang sa akin, sa pa, buong pamilya ko, sino yung nang, ano. Yan lang po, kuya. Hindi niyo naman po sana, kung papaalisin kayo, nandiyan pa rin po sa inyo, hanggang tumanda po ako. Thank you. Thank you. Ay, naku. I think, Ang trabaho, hindi lang dahil sa pera eh. Yeah, dapat love mo yung trabaho mo bago yung pera, <laughs> siguro. <laughs> Kasi pag wala po yung passion mo sa trabaho mo, kuya, kahit gano, ako kuya, kahit gano'ng kabisi, kahit gano'ng walang tulog, kuya, magawa ko yung trabaho ko. Sabi, mag, may, yung mga bata, mga alaga ko, ay nakonsarap sa pakiramta. Yep, yep. Inalagaan ni Gina ang um, aming mga anak. And, uh, until now, maski malalaki na sila, uh, she still serves them. Uh, si Gina all around. Yung, uh, she's a bookkeeper, pero uh, uh, tutor, <laughs> paminsan-minsan. <laughs> and uh, every, you know, she just uh, also manages her household. So Gina, um, I think the answer to that, and I, I want to tell everybody, you, you work not for the money only. You, you have to work because of your passion, because of love, because of gratitude. You know, there's, there, the reason to work should be deep, deeper than money. And then you will be happy. All right. Um, see, Roger, how did you know what stocks to buy? Ah, siyempre po, dahil sa Truly Rich Club. At saka sa inyo po, Kuya. Kasi yung pindami, yung sub, after ba, di lang dami po nag-message. Paano daw, Ayaw nilang magpa-member ng Rich Club. Uh-uh. Gusto nila diretso kasi parang may idea po sa stock market. Uh-uh. Sabi niya, paano? Tapos nagtatanong ko, paano kami malaman kung anong, when to buy, when to sell? Sabi uh-uh. magpa-member po muna kayo para uh-uh. malaman niyo po. Kasi kung parang slight na idea lang po, kuya, eh, wala yeah. din po. po. Yeah, there, no, they, I think for, for many people, they, they feel na parang, parang ma- mahal ang Truly Rich Club. Not, not understanding that you've got to invest in yourself first for you to be able to learn. Um, sanay tayo mag-invest sa cellphone, <laughs> sa kung ano-anong gadget, kung ano-anong uh, damit, sapatos. Okay tayong gumastos para sa bakasyon. Okay tayong gumastos para sa pagkain. No? Mas masarap na pagkain. But when it comes to learning, ay, wag na lang. I think balik ta dapat. We need to invert our priorities or else you will never grow rich. You need to invest in your learning and in your wisdom. That's that's in your education and that's what the truly rich club is. It is alam mo sinasabi nila education is, is expensive. Uh, the saying is this, try ignorance. It is more expensive. So um, and and it is very very small the the in the, in the learning investment the 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 monthly fee of the truly rich club is very very small compared to late, later on you're going to see how it will bear fruit to many millions as the years go by jenny may naturuan may naturuan na po ba kayo mag stocks what can you advise doon sa mga hindi pa nagsa stocks uh, meron po na, na-encourage po ako yung mag, ano, mag-invest po. Siguro yung through, ano, yung sa Facebook, sa Messenger, at saka yung sa ano po, 
sila Nyora Elena sa Kanyora Ana. <laughs> <laughs> nag ano po sila nag nag nag-invest po sila sa stock market sa tatanong. Pero ako po nag-handle ng account ni Nyora Elena yeah. ko ya. Oo. Uh, uh, Bibili ng ginggit. Yes. Um th- these are our these are our ministry servants, very dedicated servants in the feast. Uh mga friends ni ni Lagina. Uh Abi, sino po mas okay na boss? Si Brother Bo or Sister Bro? <laughs> this is our last question. <laughs> May intriga pa. Oh, sagutin mo yan. Ah, kung manghiram po kami ng pera, dadal muna kay ate bago kay kuya. Kasi kung may kuya po, big issue po yun kay ate. Sorry. <laughs> Kasi kayo, kay ate po muna. Pero pareho po silang ano po. Siguro almost 16 years na po kinu sa inyo kuya. This come September. Pareho po kayong mabait, walang ano. Kasi hindi pwedeng isa. Parang ganyan po, kuya. Siyempre kay tahimik kay kuya si ate. Parang may taga, ano, taga whistle. Na, oh, oh, ganyan, ganyan. Pareho po, ano. <laughs> Amen. Thank you so much, Gina. You're, you're, you're a blessing to our family. Thank you. Uh, a big, big blessing. Thank you. Kuya. Yeah. Salam. Um, you always say that uh, we're a big blessing to you. Sobra po, kuya. But uh, the truth is, uh, malaking mal- malaking blessing ka sa amin dahil you know you're you're there at home you're you're blessing our our kids yung two boys imagine 16 years na kasama ka namin so maraming maraming salamat maraming salamat po kuya sa lahat po sa iyon po ni ate sa kanilang mga bata po. okay we're going to pray we're going to ask the lord for for blessing today uh, i want to pray for you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit father I ask you for a special blessing on every person watching this show. I pray, Father, for prosperity, that every person will learn how to invest, learn how to grow their money, so that they can share and be more generous to others. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much. Hey, guys, if you are not yet a member of the Truly Rich Club, please do join. Go to that website right now that's being flashed on the screen, trulyrichclub.com. And grab my book. It's for free. Tell others also about this book. You order from the website being flashed on your screen. Just pay for the shipping cost to send it to your home. All right? But this is a free book, How My Maid Became a Millionaire. And uh, to all the Truly Rich Club members, I have a special show for you, Success Code. It will be at 8 in the morning tomorrow, available for the next four days. I will talk about how, a very, very simple steps, how if you are an employer, how can you set up an investment program for your staff? Could be for just for your helper or for you know, your driver or if you have a small business, or a big business, how do you start an investment program? I'd love to share with you some very simple steps. It will be at Success Code. Success Code is a online show uh, exclusive to the Truly Rich Club members. That show is uh, for you at 8 in the morning tomorrow and for the next four days. We will email you, Truly Rich Club member, for the link to that show. God bless you. I will see you next week in Success Live. God bless you.